Welcome to Mastering Math. My name is Julia Cox. The purpose of these videos is to help students with fourth grade math. Today the focus will be on numbers and operations of 4.2 e. Represent dance moles including tenths and hundreds using concrete and visual models and money. So we'll start off with I'm going to say it's going to be one dollar and seventy three cents. So one dollar seventy three cents. It's my dollar sign there. And I could this would also be the fraction. It would be one whole and seventy three out of a hundred. Okay? And let's go ahead and begin. So, the first thing I'd like to do is show the model of what that would look like. The model of what that would look like would be, we have 100 pennies out of 100 pennies, which gives us a dollar. We have seven dimes. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Seven. So that's one hundred pennies, which is a dollar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes, which is seven dimes, which is seventy cents. And then three units, which is one, two, three. In other words, three pennies, seven dimes, and one dollar. So that's, the, that's representing with a, including tens and hundreds using concrete and visual models. This is a visual model, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it away. Now, let's try a concrete model. One. This is another way of doing it. 100, which it, this would look like this. We have 100 out of 100, which is equivalent to one whole. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes. And then we have three pennies. So that's one and 73 hundredths. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 tenths, and 1, 2, 3 units. So this is a whole, this is tenths, and this is a unit. So this is 1, 1, tenth. And unit. I'm going to go ahead and take this right now and I'm going to use something that I think is uh, very important. Well, we'll go ahead and get the uh, representing money out of the way. Take this out of the way. all of those. Now, let's look at a what students are used to saying. It looks like this. One, 
Can you please zoom in on that? On this, it's the visual models that are usually on a STAR test or a, a district assessment or fourth grade test. It looks like this. This hole will be shaded in. That's 100 out of 100, which makes 1. 100 out of 100, which makes $1. And then we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, shade it in. And then the units, 1, 2, 3, shade it in. Out of 100, 3 units are shaded in. So that's, and this is, this would be 7 out of 10, and this would be 3 out of 100. Now, how would that look on the, um, as far as doing this with expanded form, it would be 1 plus 0.70 plus 0 0.03. And when you line that up, it would be $1 plus 70 cents plus 3 cents, which gives you a dollar seventy-three. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this away. There's one more way that's important to visually see. Go ahead and take this away. Sometimes they might try to trick you and have something like this, which is a pie. Let's see if I can find my other ones over here for this. They may have And that looks like this. And this would be in hundreds. I can't find anything. So we know that it's three. So one, two, three. So there would be 10 in each one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So three would be shaded in on that. On this part, we would have seven that's shaded in. So I'm going to go ahead and shade all this in so you can visually see it. Eventually I'm going to have, so this is 3, this is 7, so 3 out of 100, 7 out of 10, this whole thing is shaded in. Which is 10 out of 10 which is equivalent to one hole. That for the, that would it. So when we add it up, it would be one dollar plus 70 cents plus 0 0.03. So that's what this is actually representing. One dollar, 70 cents, and three cents. Now I need to do this one more way and then we can finish up representing with money. One dollar. Go. Let's see, I've got, I need two more dimes. Oh, 
and misplaced my dimes, but we'll find them. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes. We've got one, two, and what do I need now? I need, need my other penny, which I lost the spot for it, but that's okay. I found another one in here. So this represents one dollar, seven dimes, and three pennies. And the only thing that I just wanted to add to that is, is you know, to get to seventy-three cents, you could use you could use two quarters. Away. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that could be in the place of it. It would still represent 70 cents. Even though we're talking about tens place, it's still 70 cents. So sometimes they may try to trick you, but the um, most important thing to do is when you see the representing money, make sure that you count all the parts before you circle your answer. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please click like, share with your friends. If you have any comments, suggestions, or any videos that you would like me to uh, video in the future, please uh, leave a comment in the suggestions. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful evening.